Hello, everyone. This is my mask collection that I've been hoarding in the garage. And I've had to purge it a couple of times. Yeah, good stuff. So tomorrow, I am doing a yard sale at my buddy's house. He's having a community yard sale and he invited me because he knows I got a lot of stuff. And so this is going to be kind of a journey. See what we can do. Sell, make some money, give some stuff away that I just really don't care about. Because most of it all I found in the dumpster. I would say 98% of the stuff that's in here I found in the dumpster. So anything that I make money-wise is all profit. What's my name? Bitch. Can you say it again? <laughs> bitch. <laughs> What's my name? I said bitch. Can you say it again? No. Good. All right, chill out. Chill out. Jeez. No. No. Shut up. A great meal when I finally broke free of money and realized that I could live off the, I could live off the blackberries, you know, that, and I know where they are, and the raspberries are where they are, and the other things that are around the yards that you can eat right off the land or the dumpsters or whatever else. The quick-witted hobo has traditionally added humor to his social commentary. Put your lobsters in the trash, eat your pheasant while it's under glass, get into your garbage, you have no cash. You know that, and I know where they are, and the raspberries are where they are, and the other things that are around the yards that you can eat right off the land, or the dumpsters, or whatever else. The quick-witted hobo has traditionally added humor to his social commentary. Put your lobsters in the trash. Eat your pheasant while it's under glass. Get into your garbage. You have no cash. Little dinner out the gone in a flash. Won't you hold them pickles? Hold that medicine. Special order, they don't upset us. Just as long as they would let us dive it our way. Yeah, we're gonna go dumpster diving. I'm surviving my kitty cats are thriving today. Just open the lid, have a little look. It's all prepared, there's no need to cook. We're going dumpster diving. Oh, oh, oh. 
the demons that have me feeling like Michael Myers. But I know what's required. If I wanna make it to heaven, I have to walk through the fire. I refuse to give up and be a quitter. I was broke and didn't eat for a month and still never reconsidered. And it all feels worth it when I'm told I inspired. Others do not be afraid to go after what they desire. Because they see me chasing my dreams. Turn the thing and think of one and two with reality. I keep them hope that it's all possible. But for me, it's still something that I'm trying to cope. Trying to cope. Because the pressure of everyone who believes in me has a lot of faith in me. And my family all depends on me. Feels like I'm laying down with the weight of the world on me. Right now, I need y'all to pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me.
Are you tired? Kind of. Nope. I didn't know there was stuff in the case. Good morning. I had to leave this stuff overnight because this is everything that was left over from my garage sale. And I still made a decent amount of money, probably about $200 or so. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the rest of this, figure out what the heck I want to keep for maybe another sale. And the rest I'm donating. And then I get 20% off coupons. So that helps the next time I go. So maybe I'll take you guys on an adventure once I get my spy glasses. And then we can see what's going on with the coupons. <laughs> 